Hi, my name's Jordan, and welcome to the Microsoft Windows Fanboy Forum. Wait a second. I don't like Microsoft. Welcome to This Week in Linux. Alright, so the big news today is that Ubuntu 10.04 Beta 1 released. It's one day late, but better late than never, I always say. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the walkthrough of Ubuntu. As you can see, it looks and feels a lot like the Ubuntu 10.04 Alpha 3. There's not a whole lot of difference here. Uh, you've got the applications menu as usual. Your accessories are all the same. It comes with Tomboy, of course. Your games, it comes with G-Brainy, which I've heard is a really great set of games. It comes with graphics. It does not have GIMP. It was finally removed. Simple scan was also added because some of the earlier scanning utilities were really difficult to get used to. You have the same traditional internet items. You've got OpenOffice and Evolution. You've got your traditional sound and video stuff, but you've also got PTV video editor in there as well. So, home users can start getting used to some entry-level video editing. This seems relatively new to me. Universal Access has an onboard. I guess this is supposed to be really helpful for tablet PC users. You can click on the keys to type whatever you want to type in. Very cool. And, of course, the Ubuntu Software Center. As you see here, this is a little bit different than an earlier version. It actually has featured applications in it. You've got all sorts of different categories to go through, and the featured applications have a list of software that they have been featured and ratings for them on the side. Under your Places menu, everything is still the same as it always has been. You've got your Places, Connect to Server, Floppy Drive if you have one. Under System, you have Preferences. Looks like a lot of the same ones. Messaging and VoIP accounts is new to 10.04. I don't know if this was in the Alpha 3 or not because I wasn't paying close attention, but this should allow you to manage what shows up in your Me menu. You've also got Ubuntu One showing up in the Preferences menu now. Under the Administration, there's a Computer Janitor. I know a lot of people have talked about this before. It says it cleans up a system so it's like a freshly installed one. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. There's going to be a lot of people that accidentally run that and possibly lose a lot of data. Other than that, the administration menu looks fairly similar. Language support, log file viewer, login screen. Login screen gives you the option to tell it who you want to log in as automatically or if you want to tell it to have you log in by hand. We've got a startup disk creator which was available in 9.10. The version of GNOME included in this is 2.29.92, so it's decently up to date. should have a lot of great utilities along with that. And as you can see in this terminal window, when you type uname-r, it'll actually tell you what version of the kernel you're on. We are on 2.6.32-16, so decently new. It's not the newest that's available, of course, and it will not be because they don't want to push something that, while it is stable, it's not 100%. We know that it works with everything Ubuntu stable. But that's really about all the new there is to Ubuntu 10.04 Beta. As it was mentioned before, there's a new open NVIDIA driver that's supposed to be really nice. There is better support for NVIDIA proprietary drivers. And of course, the ATI proprietary driver still does not work. Hopefully, ATI is going to be releasing a new proprietary driver in the next few days, and it should work with the newer versions of the X server. That's the problem that they're having. Well, that's all for this episode of This Week in Linux. Thank you for watching my intro to Ubuntu 10.04 Beta 1. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. So without further, further, further.